Another COVID scare for Team India. This after another support staff member, the assistant physio Yogi per Yogesh Parmar, had tested positive in Manchester. The fate of the fifth and final test was in balance after Parmar's COVID result. But with the Indian players now returning negative RT-PCR tests, the match has been given the go-ahead. It happened late uh, on uh, Thursday night. The BCCI also was concerned whether the developments in England could have a cascading effect on the second half of the IPL, which, remember, was in fact stored because of the COVID scare. And with the World T20 also scheduled two days after the IPL ends, the Indian cricket board must be breathing a sigh of relief after all the players tested negative. The Indian camp was first hit by the pandemic in the middle of the fourth test when several members of the support staff had tested positive. This included head coach Ravi Shastri. India currently leads the five-match series 2-1 and the nod, the go-ahead has been given for the Manchester test. Let's move on to some other stories. We're tracking this Friday morning. Trouble is brewing for Union Minister Narayan Rani's family. The Pune police have issued lookout notice to Rani's wife Nilam as well as MLA son Nitesh in cases related to unpaid loans from financial institution DHFL. A lookout circular is essentially a notice which prevents a person from fleeing, from leaving the country. Neelam Rane uh, owned Artline Properties, which availed a loan of 25 crore rupees from the DHFL, and the outstanding amount now is 27.13 crore rupees. Nitesh Rane, who is the son of Narayan Rane, he owned Neelam Hotels and had availed a loan whose outstanding amount is now 34 crore rupees. Both loans were classified as NPAs. The DHFL later approached the center, which then issued directions to the state government to issue lookout notices. Maharashtra Home Minister Dilip Valse Patil confirmed that the state had in fact received a letter but ruled out any arrest so far in the case, only that a lookout notice has been issued. Today's Ganesh Chaturthi and fresh curbs have been imposed in Mumbai amid a COVID surge because celebrations begin today. The Mumbai police have imposed Section 144, barring an assembly of five or more people across the city between September 10th and 19th. Processions and visits to Pandals have also been barred. Organizers have been asked for live coverage of the Aarti through social media platforms only so people can tune in and in fact seek Ganesha's blessings. Not more than 10 people are allowed to bring the Ganpati idol. Only those who are fully vaccinated will be allowed to volunteer in these pandals. Authorities have also asked organizers to opt for artificial immersions of Ganpati idols. The new curbs come amid a resurgence in the number of COVID cases in Mumbai. The city on Wednesday recorded 532 new infections for the first time since July. Since July 15th, the numbers have gone up. Meanwhile, a huge crowd gathered again at the Dadar market on Thursday, just before the fresh curbs were announced. People were seen thronging shops in large numbers to shop for the Ganesha festival. So different states have different curbs and restrictions in place for Ganesh Chaturthi. The Bengaluru civic body BBMP has permitted only a three-day Ganesha Puja celebration in the city in public places from today in wake of a lot of experts warning of a possible third wave of COVID. The municipal corporation has also imposed many more such curbs during the festivities. It sparked also controversy with protests by the Bajrang Dal and the Congress. <laughs> A day ahead of Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations across the nation, it is faith versus COVID safety in Bengaluru. A saffron group, Bajrang Dal, staged a stir against Bengaluru Municipal Corporation for imposing curbs on Ganesh Utsav celebrations. The right-wing group, which is considered close to the ruling BJP in the state, protested outside Bengaluru Municipal Corporation office on Thursday displaying Ganesh idols as symbols of protest. 
जिस तरह से पाबंदी लगाई गई है बैंगलोर बैंगलोर की भारतीय जनता पार्टी की जो यहाँ सरकार है और महानगर पालिका जैसे बोलते हैं कि हर वार्ड में सिर्फ एक एक या दो दो ही हो गए इस पर पाबंदी कम से कम धर्म पे हमारे पाबंदी नहीं लगनी चाहिए धर्म पे अगर पाबंदी ले जाएगी तो ये कहीं ना कहीं लगता है कि तालिबानी फरबानी की तरह दिखाई दे रहा है कि नहीं एक वार्ड में एक ही गणपति होगा वार्ड में जितने लोग पहले से बैठाते आए हैं उतने ही गणपति बैठेंगे सरकार अपना फैस, उनको अपना फैसला बदलना ही पड़ेगा ऑपोजिशन कांग्रेस आल्सो ज्वाइंट इन टू स्लैम द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट एकोइंग द राइट विंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस स्टर अगेंस्ट द म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन कांग्रेस कर्नाटक का चीफ डी के शिव कुमार क्लेम्ड द कोविड कर्ब्स इन बेंगलुरु आर एम्ड एट हर्टिंग रिलीजियस सेंटिमेंट्स हाउ कैन ए रिस्टिक वन टू हैव ए साइज ऑफ हाइडल इट इज लेफ्ट टू ए भक्ता एंड भगवंता आई वांट टू हैव One feet or two feet or ten feet, it is to my choice. When central government, they have appointed few ministers, they are asking to take up Jana Ashirwad Yatra. Is this the COVID guideline? Why COVID guideline is not been issued to them? The Bengaluru civic body has restricted height of Ganesh idols to two feet inside house. BBMP has also restricted to placing of Ganesh idol of more than four feet in public. Guidelines also do not permit more than one Ganesh idol per municipal ward. The civic body has called for low-key Ganpati celebrations this year, restricting festivities to three days. The move came after Bombay government allowed public Ganesh puja with COVID guidelines. Now the protesters very strongly believe that it is not for the government to interfere in matters of religion, but for the government in Karnataka. It is a tight rope walk, not to offend sentiments of the people, and also to keep people safe from the dreaded COVID-19 virus. With video journalist Madhuwar Nolan Pinto for India Today. The spike in viral cases across Uttar Pradesh has also led to the emergence of many quacks who are treating scores of patients with completely unscientific treatment. India Today's Ashutosh Mishra brings light to this. Huge medical crisis now playing out in Uttar Pradesh. This is a ground report from Kasganj. With parts of Kasganj reeling under viral fever, quacks are out to make a killing. Local resident Madan's wife is being treated on a bench with a makeshift drip. The man overseeing the intravenous fluid says a doctor is not around. डॉक्टर कब से नहीं है यहाँ पे डॉक्टर करीब आप अभी गए थे उधर पटना डॉक्टर हैं इसको भी बुखार है अ मैन हु कॉल्स हिमसेल्फ डॉक्टर मुकेश विद अ बैचलर्स इन आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन एंड सर्जरी डिग्री इस ट्रीटिंग मल्टीपल पेशेंट्स विद फीवर एंड प्लमेटिंग प्लेटलेट काउंट्स कि बढ़ोतरी करीबन आज से दस दिन पहले से हुई है इसमें बच्चों की संख्या अधिक है क्योंकि संख्या जो उम्र की संख्या है उनकी एज की है वो बच्चे करीबन एक साल से लेकर के सात साल के बीच के आस हमारे हमारे ज्यादा बुखार ज्यादा बुखार आ रहा है द सिचुएशन व्हाट वी सी द द ग्रेविटी ऑफ द वायरल आउटब्रेक एंड ऑल्सो इनबिलिटी एंड नॉट रीचिंग टू द मेन टाउन टू द बेटर हेल्थ केयर बेटर हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लार्जली पुशिंग द रूरल पॉपुलेशन टू दी क्वैक्स और दी स्मॉल टाउन मार्केट्स वेयर This is how they are being treated to deal with this crisis. This was just a trailer. As we move further, a host of patients are found in a makeshift emergency ward, which turns out to be a shop run by quacks. Hospital is. Shop is. What is this? Doctor. Doctor is. Shop is. You are doctor. Yes. What is your name? डॉक्टर मल खान बी बी एस है नहीं नहीं बी एम एस है जी नहीं बी एच एम एस नहीं बी डी एस नहीं नहीं अच्छा जी आपकी दुकान है जी दिस इज एक्चुअली अ शॉप द वन हु स्ट्रीटिंग एवरी वन से ही इज अ डॉक्टर बट ही डजन नो वॉट डिग्री ही हैज राधा ही डिड कन्फर्म इट्स अ शॉप वेर ऑल दीज पेशेंट्स अमिट्स ऑफ दिस मैसिव क्राइसिस इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश आर बींग ट्रीटेड इफ दिस इज नॉट प्लेइंग विद द लाइफ देन वॉट इट कुड बी दिस एक्सप्लेन्स the negligence of the system the administration has forced people to risk their lives in kasganj locals blame apathy at government hospitals and prohibitive costs of private ones doctors are going to worry kar rahe hain doctors bas je tede tede ja rahe hain 
कहाँ कर रहे हैं कहाँ कर रहे हैं और अकड़े का और बता देते हैं बस इसलिए अब यहाँ ले आए अब क्या कर रहे हैं पैसा इतना जाए साहब तो पैसा भाई साहब तो ले रहे हैं कर रहे हैं अपना The local hospital, flooded with cases, is doing its best to cater to the rush of patients, admitting to the menace of quacks who are endangering lives. जब कंडीशन उसकी बहुत ज़्यादा क्रिटिकल थी तभी वो कल यहाँ पर आया था तो जब इतनी क्रिटिकल कंडीशन में आया था तभी उसको रेफर किया गया था तो पता किया कि इतने दिन से आप कहाँ पे थे तो वो उसने बोला कि मैं प्राइवेट ट्रीटमेंट करा रहा था. The situation is similar in neighbouring Ganeshpur. During our interaction with the doctor, locals land with medical reports. which show people testing positive for dengue getting viral fever treatment 6 tarikh ko unhone kaha ki dengue hai report mein kya doc sahab report mein keval viral fever de rahe hain is report mein dengue nahi likha hai unhone unhone to ilaaj karaya is cheeze ki medical teams by the administration have been sent to ganeshpur for testing and medical distribution 73 ho gaye ab tak acha kya kya test aap yahan par kar rahe hain mp hai bidal hai और डेंगू वगैरह ये सारे टेस्ट हो रहे हैं। When India today visited the local pathology lab with Dr. Mukesh, the superintendent of community health care, several violations came to light. Here one sample, which now says a positive, the dengue positive through the antigen, but as per the protocol, the ELISA test is mandatory, which is ordered by the administration. और ये जो आपने 33 से लेकर के 64 तक के हैं, वो कहाँ हैं? 33 से 64 वाले? नहीं है, इसके बाद direct 65 पे आ गया है। 33 से 64 वाले कहाँ हैं? ये 65 पे ले लिया है ना number? वो 64 कहाँ गए? वो मेरी बात ही समझे। अच्छा आप अपनी अलग गड़ी तरफ़ रखते हैं इस मामले में। तस्वीर आपके सामने है आप यहाँ के इंचार्ज हैं जिम्मेदारी आपकी है लोगों के साथ जान का खिलवाड़ नहीं होना चाहिए क्या कार्यवाही होगी निश्चित तौर पे इनके सारे डॉक्यूमेंट चेक करता हूँ और उसके बाद अगर ये अनाधिकृत रूप से चल रहा है तो इनका सील किया जाएगा Medicines reaches villages to villages, the help reaches every villages, but for now it seems to be inadequate at the moment. Looking at the gravity of this outbreak in Kasganj is concerned. At Ground Zero in Kasganj, with Sanjay Kumar, I'm Ashutosh Mishra for India Today. Let's now get to an India Today exclusive interview. The NCP chief, Sharad Pawar, has spoken to us here on India Today. He is, of course, part of the UPA and also in alliance with the Congress in the Mahavikas Aghadi government in Maharashtra. Sharad Pawar has now dropped a big bombshell of the Gandhis. He said that the Congress is like old zamindars of Uttar Pradesh who are without land, but the grand old party is still not realizing the truth. But Pawar, whose party NCP is a key ally in the Maha Aghadi alliance with the Congress and Shiv Sena in Maharashtra, didn't just stop there. Pawar has said that the Congress is no longer able to win votes, unlike in the past. The NCP chief said that the Congress is weak as several leaders have deserted it. In other words, he's made it clear that the Congress is a pale shadow of its past. ममता बनर्जी ला तुम्हें फेस करो शक्ता चेहरा हो शक्ता 2024 चाहे इलेक्शन में दे तर लोग मी कांग्रेस चाहे लोग अन्ना विचार तो ममता बनर्जी क्यों हमारे पास राहुल गांधी हैं आसन जवाब कुछ हाँ कि दूसरों फक्स निश्चिता कांग्रेस फक्स तो एवरेज सरकारी ये आपसे निश्चित सच्चे सोनी यकीन चितुदा क एक अहंकार है कहाँ जुनी कि आजुन परिणत कल अनरियलिस्टिक एक्सपेक्टेशन से कि जुनी कांग्रेस की कैसा है कि ये वाके एग्जाम में गोस एक संगीत लिखी कि युक्तन खुदे खुदे ऐसे जमीन दर्ज चिंचे के उसी सिटी है गांव में चिंचे हवेली है ऐसे लैंड चिंचे का इधर चंचल तो मोटी सीटों की जमीन के लिए अनेक लोकन से तो आते के लिए चंचल हवेली आए तो शेगा होत पर क्या हवेली से मज़ा होत के दूसरों की कर्ज़ की ताकत रही नहीं कंचल सीटों तो उसको ना फ़ायदा सरकर रही नहीं कई हज़ार एकड़ जमीन रही थी कि तो फ़ंसा एकड़ भी शेकर रही पर सकारी जाओ तो जमीन दार � तो वहाँ तो क्या सर्व आजू बाजू आजू होते अच्छा नहीं है तो कुठे ना कुठे कांग्रेस जुनी जुनी जमींदारी जाने मराठी मराठी चला मंडत क्या उजाड़ गावा से पाटिल 
We've got breaking news coming in this morning. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be travelling to the United States to hold a bilateral meeting with US President Biden and participate in the Quad Summit level meeting. Prime Minister Modi is likely to leave for Washington DC on September 22nd. Sources say that he'll be holding a bilateral with US President Joe Biden on September 23rd. The Quad Summit, the schedule of the summit is likely to begin on September 24th, after which he will leave for New York, where the Prime Minister will be addressing the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly. This will also be the first time that the Prime Minister will be visiting America after President Joe Biden assumed office. So a lot of highlights that will be expected. All eyes will be on this visit by the Prime Minister to the United States. Packed schedule is what we're hearing. There'll be a bilateral meet with Porter's Joe Biden. Besides that, the Prime Minister will also be a part of the Quad Summit. And then he is in all likelihood going to also be addressing the UNGA.